What is up, YouTube? It's Melt Metal Anthony. I'm back with another one for you. Today, we are doing pipe fence. I have my assistant Emily here with me. She's gonna be giving me a hand. We're gonna be uh, doing some pipe welding. Never welded pipe fence, but can't be different from pipe, can it? We've got El Carcole with me. This is not the ideal truck for this, but it is what it is. We're gonna work with what we got. So, let's get this thing done. So, if you're gonna be doing pipe fence, you're gonna want this little tool here. It's just a jig that gets you all the different copes that you could possibly need to do pipe fence. They're inexpensive, like 10, 12 bucks. I'll put the link to, in the description below if you want to buy yourself one. So I'm going to start by going ahead and putting the cope on one side. And I'm going to take my soapstone here, mark it out. Then we're going to take our chalk line and get the center of the pipe so we can line up our copes at each end. I'm okay. Snap it. Okay. So we've got the center of our pipe. We can match our cope up on the other side now. We're gonna move over here and do all our layout over here. So the next thing we wanna do is mark at 46 inches off the ground. They like the pipe to follow the lay of the ground. So we just drop our tape to the ground. 46. I mark it on both sides, just makes it a little easier for me. So I've gone through with my bullet level and verify that all these are level this way. They may not be level this way, but we'll correct that when we weld. So now what I'm doing is using the chalk line to center up all three pipes. Uh, the center one happens to be out a little bit, but like I said, we'll just yank on that one and pull it back straight with the other two. Now what I'm doing here is while the string line is on top of the pipe, I'm aligning it with the coping jig. That way I make sure everything is all centered up and straight. While she's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and get my measurement over here. Man, barely enough. I don't even know if this is enough. Isn't that the longer measurement? Yeah, it's like right at the fucking edge. It's the bottom, because the bottom of the pipe co cuts in. Let me just put the coping jig on it real quick and find out. If it's not, go measure that other pipe. Tell me if it's long, if that one's longer. I don't wanna drive all the way back for a fucking pipe. It's just barely gonna work. So you can see what that looks like. Like I said, I just struck a center line and then that's just gonna line up the copes. So that way I can make sure they're square and uh, everything's gonna line up once it gets over onto the posts. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut this with a torch. Sorry to interrupt this video, guys, but I have a huge announcement. You could win this welder in our upcoming giveaway. Basically, anyone who has purchased merchandise since the beginning of our store will be automatically entered. One entry for every dollar spent. Buy yourself a t-shirt and go ahead and get into this contest. The official rules are going to be announced next weekend on Sunday during my normal video hours at 1 p.m. You're only eligible if you're in the lower 48. I'm not shipping this bitch to Hawaii. I ain't shipping it to Canada. It ain't happening. In the lower 48, if you wanna enter this competition, go ahead, get yourself a t-shirt, a hat, a whatever, a sticker. You'll be automatically entered. Anyone who's ever bought merchandise since the conception of the store, you're automatically in. You're automatically in. I wanted this to be as fair as I could fucking make it. All right, guys, let's get back to this fucking video. So while I pull the pipe away that's all ready and prepared, Emily's gonna go ahead and get us set up on the next one and we'll lay that one out as well the same way. This is what you're looking for, a nice, 
tight fit. You don't want any sloppiness in it. When Emily has nothing else to do, it's her job to watch me weld so she can go ahead and learn this trade. While I weld, Emily wire wheels each fitment and gets me ready for my second and third pass. So what I'm doing here is just popping a little hole the end of the pipe so that way if water and condensation does build up that over the winter it doesn't freeze and crack the pipe okay guys this is a little tutorial on pipe fence let me show you the final product so that's what you want it to look like it's not exactly perfect but that'll do the side got a little whack you can see i had a gap there but i mean it's pipe fence nobody's really going to give a fuck um, i do try to make a dime pattern uh just to make it as pretty as i can but yep, so uh, everything looks pretty good. I mean, as far as 6010 goes, we, we missed a little bit of slag there, but that's not a big deal. All right, guys, I'm Melton Metal Anthony. If you enjoyed what you saw here today, like, subscribe, share, do the whole nine for your boy. And if you uh, wanna grab yourself a t-shirt, maybe a hat, show me a little support, right down below the video, there's a place you can buy yourself some. All right, guys, have a great day. And if you don't like the video, go fuck yourself.